Corey Yeager, How Am I Doing? 40 Conversations to Have with Yourself. Dive into the world of self discovery and introspection as this summary of How Am I Doing? 40 Conversations to Have with Yourself by Corey Yeager illuminates the importance of focusing on personal growth and self care while pursuing success and happiness. Learn how to carve out time for yourself chase after your wildest dreams, make friends with your reflection, embrace your weaknesses, and unmask your true emotions, among other valuable lessons. The book summary offers a multitude of techniques and tools to help individuals of all ages to become the best version of themselves. The importance of prioritizing yourself. It's essential to prioritize yourself to give others your best. In this book, you'll discover that putting yourself first isn't selfish, but a necessary act of self-care. That way, you'll be equipped to love and offer genuine attention to others. Have you ever thought about who the most important person in your life is? Is it your mom who took care of you from birth, your spouse who has sacrificed so much for you, or your mentor who molded you into who you are now? You may think your answer lies somewhere along those lines, but it's wrong. The one crucial person in your life should be you. Putting yourself first isn't selfish, it's necessary. You can't pour from an empty cup, which means when you're running on empty, you won't be able to care for others. Everyone needs genuine attention and love, and that's what you provide when you take care of yourself. Don't feel guilty for getting some me time. Plan an entire day for yourself and take a break from it all, it's necessary for your mental and emotional health. It may not be easy, especially if you're wired to prioritize others, but keeping a log of situations where you've put yourself first can be helpful in reflecting on how you can make changes. Of course, there will be times when you need to put others before yourself, but you have to be mindful of when you need a break and take a day for yourself. By prioritizing yourself, you'll be able to give others your best, and that's the ultimate goal. Achieving Wild Dreams Everyone has wild dreams, but few people actualize them. To make these dreams a reality, one must downscale them, consider if they're achievable, and align them with their passion. This involves setting macro and micro goals, with micro goals being the minute tasks you do now and macro goals being the big picture. When pursuing these goals, tailor them to suit your interest and fulfillment. Success in this area lies in following the micro goals and keeping the macro goals in mind. Mirrors, your best friend. Mirrors may reveal our physical flaws, but they are also excellent tools for self reflection and self improvement. By treating your reflection as a separate person, you gain a wider perspective and can evaluate your values, make better decisions, and bring your inner self to the surface. Rather than avoiding mirrors, try talking to yourself or watching yourself to get comfortable and start molding yourself into the person you want to become. Remember, your mirror can be your best friend and guide you towards a fulfilling life. Embrace your vulnerabilities. Admitting your weaknesses can help you grow. By acknowledging them, you open doors to learn and improve yourself. People who excel in areas where you struggle can help you through them. Instead of covering up your weakness, understand your strengths and guide those who need your support. Unmasking Anger Many of us tend to mask our sadness or disappointments with anger. It is because it is easier to release than any other emotion. But if we want to process the emotion truly, we need to dig deep and uncover what we are genuinely feeling. We need to be aware of what is causing our anger. This little exercise can help us recognize our emotions better. Whenever we find ourselves getting agitated, we should stop and ask ourselves what we are feeling and why. If we believe that it is just anger, we should write down the details of that situation in our journal and look for a common theme. That can be the root cause of our anger, and we can work our way towards minimizing or eliminating it. Embracing your past for a better future have you ever wished to change a past experience? This summary explores why accepting the past can lead to a brighter future. While we can't change what has happened, we can change how it shapes us. Every experience, whether positive or negative, has helped shape the person we are today. Rather than dwelling on what could have been, 
we should embrace our past for what it has taught us. By thanking our past selves for their hard work, we can move forward with a new perspective, ready to write the future we want. Learning from mistakes Making mistakes is inevitable but how you deal with them can make a huge difference. Admitting your mistake, understanding its root cause, forgiving yourself and others and being grateful for the lesson learned can help you grow as a person. A holistic view of the circumstances that led to the mistake is necessary to avoid repeating it. Making a mistake is an opportunity to learn something new. Don't be afraid to make them. Making the most of 23 seconds. Learn how setting your intentions in a mere 23 seconds can help you align with your goals and values and achieve success. Have you ever thought about what you can accomplish in just 23 seconds? While it may not seem like enough time to make a difference, those mere seconds can actually do you a whole lot of good if you know how to use them properly. Setting intentions is the key to making those 23 seconds count. It's a way of aligning yourself with your goals and values, and thinking about your next purposeful move that will put you a step closer to what you want to achieve or become. Imagine you're about to go on stage to speak in front of 500 people. Instead of anxiously waiting for your turn, take those 23 seconds to refocus, settle yourself, and set your intentions for the next hour or so. By doing so, you'll be more engaged and in control during your talk. The same principle applies to everyday situations. When your extended family is about to arrive for a get-together, don't just waste those 23 seconds mindlessly watching TV or scrolling through social media. Take a deep breath, settle yourself, and think about how you can be more engaged and present during their visit. Set intentions for the day, and you'll be surprised at how smoothly everything goes. In summary, it's not about the length of time but how you use it. By taking just 23 seconds to set your intentions, you can align yourself with your goals and values and achieve success in all areas of your life. As we end our journey with How Am I Doing? 40 Conversations to Have with Yourself, we are reminded of the power of embracing our true selves in order to lead fulfilling lives. The takeaways from this insightful look into self-care, goal setting, and emotional processing resound across various aspects of daily life. By prioritizing personal growth, acknowledging our weaknesses and strengths, and remaining intentional about our dreams, we foster the capability to manifest success and happiness in the long run. So, embark on the invigorating process of introspection and self-improvement and watch, as the fruits of your labor ripen throughout your life, 